Hello and welcome to this session on web services. Today we are going to learn two very basic and very important concepts of web services WSDL and UDDI. So let us begin. In our earlier session we have already seen what a web service is and how does a service provider and a service consumer talk to each other using web services. So let us see where does WSDL and UDDI fit into the architecture of web services? So if you are a service consumer and you want to use a web service, you need to know all the details about the web service. What the web service is, what are the various components, what are the various functionalities, what are the parameters, the return types and how exactly to consume the web service. So you need to know everything about the web service, the structure of the web services and the entire description. To enable this, every service provider publishes a description about his web service and this is kind of an interface to the web service where all the attributes and functionalities of the web service is described. And this is an XML based interface and this is called, you must have guessed by now, WSDL or Web Services Description Language. So Web Services Description Language or WSDL is an XML based interface for the web services which describes all the attributes and functionality of the web service. And why is it XML based? So that it is machine readable and we can use some tools and some uh, programming language to pass this document and generate the request and response structure. So in case you have to see an example online, you can go and we can say online visitor and we will get some options. We can go to this particular weather web services. So this weather web service have this visitor and we can call it through this URL and you can see this is an XML format and it has all the functionalities and description about the web services. What are the requests? What is the components and parameter of the request, the data type? What is the component and parameters of the response, the structure, everything? Now, it might be a little difficult to read and get everything about the web services through this XML document. And therefore, we have tools which can pass this XML and generate all the stubs or all the request from this Bistel document for the web service and in the coming session we will see how exactly we do that. So we can now uh, say Bistel is a interface for the web service and the service provider creates this interface for his web service and the service consumer can get this Bistel and then use the web services and all the requests of the web services. Now there are two ways a service consumer can get hold of this Bistel document. One way is if the service consumer and the service provider already know each other, the service provider can hand over directly this Bistel document or the WSTL URL to the client and the client can then use the web service. Now the other case when the service consumer and the service provider does not know each other, how can a service consumer get hold of a Bistel document? So to enable this, all the web services provider publishes their the description of their web services through a visitor to an online registry or a directory which can be searched by any consumer and they can get hold of their visitor and this online directory or registry is called UDDI. So UDDI stands for Universal Description Discovery and Integration and it is a online directory where a service provider can publish his Vistel and a consumer can query it and get hold of the Vistel. So you can now uh, understand this like this. Uh, UDDI is a directory where all the service provider will put their Vistel document so that the consumers can query and get hold of the Vistel and once the consumer has the Vistel, they can make use of the web services. So this is all about WSDL and UDDI in a very basic manner. I hope the concept is clear for you. We'll meet again in next session and we will go deeper into these concepts. Thanks for watching.